morning everyone today is monday the 12th and we woke up this morning to a winter wonderland we got about five inches of snow here in eastern ohio and today i'm going to take you along with me and we're going to plow the driveway and shovel some sidewalks so if you're following this channel you probably noticed that uh i have a different different pup here today this past month uh has been the best of luck for us um we had to put our eight-year-old uh, shepherd down due to cancer, and uh, that was a, a tragic loss to our family. And we ended up finding a female shepherd uh, that was a couple years old, and her and my four-year-old shepherd, they played really well together. And unfortunately, they ended up chasing, chasing off some coyotes or deer uh, around the house here. And it's been a little over two weeks now and haven't seen either of them come back, so. Maybe maybe they'll come back or maybe someone picked them up. They had collars with her uh, number and contact information on it, but uh, maybe they found them another home. I don't know. But anyhow, we picked up, uh, this is Weston here. He's a nine-month-old shepherd. I tell you, he's something else. You'll see him on uh, after my show, snow shovel here. And <laughs> so far we love him. He's fitting in great. But uh, I'm sure you'll see him in future videos, and he'll be my, my partner now, so stay tuned. Good helper here. That's kind of odd. Must have been a crow or something. Hi, Weston. Hi. What do you think, puppy, huh?
right, so we're out here now and gonna walk out to the deer feeder and give them some corn. Uh, this is perfect winter weather here. It's lower 30s and we got about six inches of snow last night, but it's warm enough where you can stand and be outside and you're not cold. And then just the fact that you know that spring's gonna come along soon. Be able to get out and do some some more fun stuff get the tractor out and cut some more firewood i usually do that year round i uh, just try to clean up the land and i bought this property it's been about a year and a half ago now and uh previous owners didn't do much out out in the woods so there's a lot of gr vines growing up here a lot of thickets the logging roads they're all grown up but i've gotten quite a few of them cleared out and uh, you know just a lot of projects going on here in the spring I'm gonna be building a pig pen I'm gonna get two uh, two hogs to butcher next winter I probably won't actually get the hogs till uh, midsummer but uh, also we're gonna be getting chickens probably about six to eight of them had had them last year but had a bad problem with fox and coyotes so that's that's going to be coming this way. I'd like to even uh, maybe try to build a little goat barn and maybe do like Nigerian dwarf goats or something. I don't know, just some. Got 15 acres of land here, can't get any big livestock, so I'm wanting to do what I can with what I got. That's what makes it fun, I guess. So, all right, we're out here at the feeder now, and. Uh, I can't tell if they're hitting my mineral lick or not. I'm sure it won't be instant anyways, but uh, they're cleaning me out of corn. All right, so I'm gonna get these deer fed and uh, walk around and enjoy some of this peacefulness out in the woods. I love days like this, sun shining, snow covered. You can see really well. It's just relaxing, so. This is when you know you need a new feeder. <laughs> uh, good design but they've done pulled off my I put a uh, 90 degree elbow on the bottom they done broke it off so yeah I gotta get on that sometime 